Hey guys, welcome back to One Take Wednesday. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that we had a crazy storm come through here the other day. Well, that was the worst storm I've ever been through. That was pretty intense. Look at the hail. My car is going to be all messed up. This is crap. It hailed so bad it busted up the Easter decorations. Good lord. It actually put down some hail that was about golf ball size or bigger. And we got these ugly awnings on our house, which we're not wild about anyway. But hopefully you guys can see there. There's holes all through them now from the hail. My Jeep, my pickup truck. Uh, the pickup truck's got a busted window. The roof's all dented up. The hood's all dented up. Uh, luckily, the roof on the Jeep's plastic, but the hood's got a bunch of dents in it. So, uh Got to be turning that into insurance. Thank God I'm paying that for a reason. But uh, there's some broken power poles up the road here. The power company's supposed to left me for fence posts. So I'm going to go up and try and grab those. And Buddy had some big trees blow down in his yard. So we're going to go clean up one that blew down cut a couple more down. Well, they were supposed to leave me the pole. There's the new one. Somebody either beat me to it or they forgot to leave it for me. Dang it all. Get your bucket under it, Jim, and curl under it. It'll put weight on the front end. in buddy's uh beautiful 01 dodge with the uh the custom custom dash work because these these dashes have been known to crack every once in a great while huh You really think it matters? Yeah, does it really matter at this point? 
So that's about all the tree limbs we got cleaned up because he's already got a big old pile of another tree in the back on the burn pile that he's got to burn down before we can put that tree on top of it. Uh, <clears throat> so now I'm in the garage here. I got the garage floor, uh, as you saw there before, had like three inches of water on it. So I've got everything all cleaned up now. Everything's all dried out. This is something else that's not even from that. But everything's dried out. I've had the dehumidifier and the fan blown on it for the last two days now. Uh, and I've been working on some of these old water pumps I've got. Uh, the fuel tank on this one is really nasty. So what I'm about to do right now <clears throat> is put some acid down inside of this fuel tank. You can see how nasty that thing is down in there. A ton of rust buildup and some sort of other palish substance. I don't even know what it is. Um, so we got uh, muriatic acid. And we'll pour some of that in there outside because uh, this stuff is got a quite the aroma to it <laughs> so we're gonna take this thing outside dump a little acid in there slosh it around and uh, let that sit and do its thing for a while and see what it looks like oh yeah don't want to inhale that don't want to get it on you some strong stuff so let that sit here and do its thing got a little fumes coming out of it all right let that sit for a few hours and come back see what it looks like 
How you like this quarantine beer to got coming in here, huh? Just call me Peach Fuzz, huh? So we've had the acid sitting in this fuel tank now for, uh, I don't know, three or four hours. I found my uh, chemical gloves too, so. No need to get chemical burns today. So without further ado, let's see what she did. Try not to breathe any of this. Oh yeah. I'll rinse that out with some more gasoline. Oh wow, it did a great job cleaning that up. Let me get the let me rinse it out with a little bit of gas and I'll show you what it looks like. Got it rinsed out now. Okay. So remember what that tank looked like before. Now yeah, there's still some crap in there. But uh I'd, I'd call that a vast improvement. I could probably repeat the process and it would get it completely clean, but honestly, I'm not even going to bother because these particular Briggs and Stratton engines are good about not picking up stuff. The uh, pickup and the carburetor's got a nice screen on the bottom of it, and that stuff isn't going to come off because I just blew a rag around in there for about five minutes. None of that stuff's loose, so. If it's in there now, it's probably staying in there. Let's get this Briggs running. All right. Gas this baby up. This particular pump here was seized up when I got it years ago. I freed it up, used it a good bit. Been a good pump, it runs really nice actually. Uh, it's been a number of years since I've used it though, and it sat in an unheated storage building and I uh, looked in the gas tank here when I pulled it out and it was just packed full of uh, rust and stuff there like you guys saw in the tank so this will be the first time this thing's fired up in quite some time probably take a few pulls maybe not it does run good like I said So all that squealing we got going on there, that sounds like a problem with the one-way bearing. I don't have any of those. And the last time I tore one apart, I broke it. So I'm um, thinking that's a job for another day. So anyway, guys, that's our quick Wednesday video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go in and get me some grub. Mama's got dinner ready. And I'll catch you guys Friday at the main event. Later. <laughs>